Coventry Steamboat Gathering 2016 with the SBA, the Steamboat Association. It was only fairly thin ice, but I was out with a group of other boats and it froze overnight and they said, well, you've got the ice boat, you go first. And yes, it does actually work. That's why the hull is semi-circular, it's designed to roll. I mean, the idea is that you can see that the hull is narrower on the waterline than it is above it. And particularly on the bow here, you've got kind of cheats. So if you rock the boat to and fro, it breaks a channel through the ice which is wider than itself. I mean, the main problem obviously with a conventional hull is that it makes a channel which is as wide as the boat, which is fine as long as the canal is straight and it doesn't work quite so well when you come to a corner. So this is designed so that essentially she will give herself enough width uh, um, to be able to go around the corners. The blue boat and the one behind it, which is a similar design because they're both replica Grand Union boat from the boatyard at Brinklow, which specialises in restoring and maintaining old boats. I mean, that was where Hasty was built at Brinklow. Out of the Grand Union boats, there are Northridge boats and Woolwich boats. The Northridge boats are slightly easier to build uh, in the construction methods. Woolwich boats are very hard to replicate. Can be done, we have done one at our yard and the boat services. This boat, Oberon, is painted in blue and yellow, which is the 1948 British Waterways nationalised colours. Uh, all the boats I've had in the past have been ex-working boats carried with them, and all my boats have been blue and yellow, so I've carried on the theme with my new boat. The boat that Dave has built, which is painted in austerity colours from the Second World War when the paint system was simplified uh, so the cost and the turnover of painting was a little easier. Uh, if you were to look at the painting on the side, the initials of the Grand Union Canal Carrying Company rather than the full uh, writing. Uh, the colours for the Grand Union Canal Carrying Company changed three times in their life and then at the end of that, as I said in 1948, they became blue and yellow.
decent sized vertical fire tube boiler. Fire is in there. Um, and then the steam comes over into the engine, which is a two cylinder compound. So you have a high pressure cylinder and a low pressure cylinder. The steam goes through the high pressure first and then through into the low pressure. And then out of the exhaust into a condenser and we then recirculate the condensate back into the boiler. A lot of people ask if we have a second engine. We don't. If, if we don't, if we don't light a fire and, and raise steam, we don't go anywhere. We're aboard the motorboat Pinner, which is a Grand Union uh, canal carrying company boat from 1936. This is its first trip out for about 16 years. Um, it's had a large amount of work to restore the hull, uh, fit a new cabin and a new engine. Built in Brinklow, 2011 she went in the water and uh, she's been running ever since. We've had Princess Anne on board uh, and some other celebrities, it's been quite good fun. So when? This is a, a modern copy of an 1870s canal tunnel tug. Um, there were a number of them based on the Blissfuss Tunnel and the, and the Bronson Tunnel which pulled the horse boats okay. through and they would do it on an hourly basis and they were charged pulling the boats through. Previous to that they were legging boats through which was a nightmare of a, of a, a task. Uh, it's very romanticised these days but not something you ever want to do. Uh, extremely dangerous um, but the steam tunnel tugs pulled them through it up until 1936 and the reason why they used tunnel tugs steam powered was because they produced less fumes than the contemporary diesel engines. As you can see, it doesn't make any smoke. It's a myth that uh, steamboats were dangerous. <laughs> the, the engine's a 1965 uh, Sisson, made in Gloucester, uh, made to order from the Cape Town Technical College as an education engine. Um, it wasn't used very long and I brought it back in uh, 2004. And, and modified it so it can be run on marine, on the marine application. The, the funnel onwards uh, is actually a, quite a nicely decked out uh, modern narrowboat. So, um, yes, you, you can actually have a shower with Indy Grandy. <laughs>